Germany and Texas, May 17, 2024. Heavy, continuous rain caused floods and landslides in Saarland on Friday. In the state capital Saarbrücken and other municipalities, houses had to be evacuated due to rising water masses. The Interior Ministry spoke of a widespread flood situation, with the focus being on the southeastern part of the country. The Neunkirchen District, the Saarfalls District and the Saarbrücken Regional Association were particularly affected, the ministry spokesman said in the evening. When it comes to cities, the situation is tense in the state capital Saarbrücken, in Eppelborn, Neunkirchen, St. Wendel, Saarlouis and Merzig. In some places, residents had to be evacuated from apartments on isolated streets. In Marpingen, in Saarbrücken Rushu, the situation was precarious because the current speed was so high that the fire department had to call off and rescuers from the German Red Cross were called in. 50,000 sandbags from the state reserve have been released. It is being examined whether help should be requested from surrounding federal states. The state capital Saarbrücken, as well as several districts, declared a major disaster. Several buildings in the city had to be evacuated. The city set up alternative accommodation in schools and a citizen's telephone. Those affected were asked to only take the essentials with them. There was a similar situation elsewhere, we have evacuations everywhere, said a spokesman for the Situation Center in Saarbrücken. It's raining everywhere, nationwide. The population was asked to avoid spending time outdoors at all costs and to avoid flooded or endangered sections of traffic routes. The Neunkirchen district announced in the evening that all towns and communities in the district were largely affected by the heavy rain events. In Wemetsweiler, people had to be rescued from their homes by boat. The fire department in Bleeskastel, Sarfalls district, also reported flooded cellars and streets as well as landslides. There is an extreme risk of flooding, explained the flood reporting center. The state office for environmental and occupational safety said it was a flood event that occurs every 20 to 50 years. Large-scale flooding of built-up areas as well as agricultural and forestry areas could occur. The water levels at the gauges in the Saar catchment area continued to rise. In many places, the reporting level of 3 and in some cases even 4 was exceeded. Meanwhile in Houston, Texas, a storm system that threatened to produce torrential rainfall over East Texas, USA, spawned severe thunderstorms in the nation's fourth largest city Thursday, leaving more than 1 million customers without power. The local National Weather Service office issued several tornado warnings for the Houston metro but by the time the storms cleared, it was strong winds that are believed to have caused most of the damage. Winds estimated to be in excess of 70 miles per hour toppled trees, blew out windows of high-rise buildings and caused transmission towers holding power lines to crumble. The Harris County Sheriff's Office encouraged everyone to stay off the roads as trees blocked streets, with power outages climbing above 800,000 in the Houston metro. Power at Wage.us reported nearby counties also were dealing with outages, sending the state's tally to well over 1 million customers. Joy. Officials said several of the casualties were the result of falling trees during winds that likely reached over 100 miles per hour. The roof of the Hyatt Regency downtown blew out. Rain and debris pouring down to the lobby, a customer at the hotel told Weather News. He said staff was doing the best they could to keep people safe and away from the debris. 
Windows also appeared to be blown out in other downtown buildings, including around the Wells Fargo Plaza. The broken glass and debris forced city leaders to encourage workers to stay home on Friday and avoid the downtown region. In nearby Minute Maid Park, wind and water were seen seeping into the building, but the severe weather did not appear to affect the play of the Astros baseball game. Local residents described the impacts of the storm as being hurricane-like despite the severe weather lasting less than an hour. Ground stops were also issued at Bush Intercontinental Airport and Houston William P. Hobby Airport due to the severe weather. The Houston School District closed all public schools on Friday and said they would reopen on Monday. The dangerous thunderstorms were expected to transition into a flood threat during the overnight hours as already saturated grounds were expected to receive an additional 2 to 5 of rainfall. The warning is in effect until 2 a.m. Saturday night. According to the DWD, lower amounts of rain are expected in the north of Rhineland Palatinate compared to the south, but the situation could worsen in some regions. In West Palatinate, several fire departments are preparing for possible evacuations. According to the fire department, Thaleischweiler and Rieschweiler in particular are currently affected by severe flooding, but the city of Zybrikin is also preparing for possible evacuations.